Hello, 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 Savannah. Thank you for tuning in to WRUULP, Savannah, Georgia, 107.5 FM, WRUU.org. We are Savannah Soundings Community Radio with Global Soul. And you have just tuned into Real Estate Real Talk with myself, Julia M. Spencer, and Daniel Ivanov in the studio. Hello, Yay. Savannah. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Thank you for tuning in. We're near Troop Square. If you're visiting our beautiful city, welcome, welcome. If you live here, you already know how great it is here. So thank you for tuning in. And on our show, we talk about anything and everything related to real estate investing and kind of what we do. We are real estate investors here in town, and I've had this show going on actually Eight, going on nine. four four or five years now it's been a while and also I have a youtube channel a lot of the old shows can be listened to there as well as actual real videos that i've taken for a lot of the projects that i've worked on here in the area as well as in adjacent states uh, my main focus is has always been tax sale foreclosure investing that's also where I started. That's kind of my roots, but I do a lot of with short-term vacation rentals now, Airbnbs and uh, vac- vacation rentals in general, also seasonal rentals and things like that. So you can check me out on the web, Julia M. Spencer, and we have a lot of really interesting stories. We don't just publish our successes. We actually publish more failures than successes as well. So it's kind of quite entertaining at times. We and got a few scars <laughs> on the way. Yeah, I think we have a lot of scars. And it's it's just been an interesting ride. And we're con- co-conspirators here. We do, Daniil's been working with me for about uh, t- two years now, maybe. Mm, yeah, true. Two, two-ish mm. years, a little bit more than two years. And uh, before that, I was I was kind of manning the boat myself. <laughs> So it's been it's been interesting and we kind of share our stories so you can get entertained, maybe learn something, you know. Uh, you can always ask me questions too. My email address is real estate at julia m and you can, you know, also leave comments on my YouTube videos. I you know, I don't always get to them right away, but I try. I try well, my best. Leave us the comments about the radio. If you have any questions, suggestions, right. we'll we'll take them. Criticism, yep. we like that too. Right, right, <laughs> exactly. Oh, we love criticism because, you know, I'm, we're all over that. <laughs> <laughs> so, but on today's show, before I get started, I want to just say that the viewpoints expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of WRU, its license holder, or its staff. It's kind of our little disclaimer in the beginning. Uh, the way this show is set up, we kind of talk about what's going on right now, what we've been working on, what's kind of not worked for us what is working for us, and just anything and everything. In between, we play music, we have announcements, and that'll take you right until 1 p.m. So I guess we can get started. I think just introducing the topics, I'll play some music. Yeah, We can talk about the tax sale that happened yesterday right here in Chatham County, which has been the first one in quite some time that I know. I think the last one was in March or April. Uh, It's been a while. uh, We didn't go to that one. No, I think I went by myself. I think you were out of... Yeah. So... But we're taking this whole tax sale business into a whole new dimension here in this this city city and in this town. So we have a few things to report there as Uh, well as our project nearing completion. Now, hopefully we have... We're on the last stretch. We finally you know, are able to make some progress, hopefully. So we're going to talk about that. And that will be the topic of our discussion yeah, and today. And maybe about uh, code compliance and where you can tell them about our encounter with the officer. That's right. What's that's happening right. up there. Yeah, so. we got, we got, we always got plenty of stuff. So yeah. let's talk about that. We'll be right back. Stay on. Don't go anywhere. But let's talk about all those people that went to the auction here in Chatham County that all wanted to get paid in full. So let's talk about how the Chatham County tax sale actually went to a new dimension yeah. as of, I guess, as of just very time. recent. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been to that sale. The, there was um, a new auction area. It was, was good, yeah. better organized. It was a little hot, so if yeah. you go to those water 
<laughs> food <laughs> umbrella <laughs> umbrella <hat>. yeah chair <laughs> just kind of camp it, it was out just there. a lot of people and it was a lot the list of the houses was big yeah there was probably uh, approximately 200 people there and it was all outside. It was at 10 o'clock is when it, the actual auction started. People were still there, of course, much earlier. And it it was very hot. There was very little shade. People were kind of hiding under the a tree or, you know, the garage, parking garage next to yeah. the courthouse. But there's a lot of people I've never seen, some some familiar faces, but not the old school people that I'm familiar in seeing. I haven't mm-hmm. seen any of them. And, uh, and they you show me some sharks, like a bankers one there. There was a few bankers, yeah, people that work for banks. And uh, I remember even telling this to to Patrick here, who was visiting us this week. And he's like, what do you mean? The banks are selling them. I was like, well, the banks are selling them. The banks are buying them. You know, this is what banks do. And they pretty much, they, they bet on, they, <laughs> on they everything. Don't, they don't <laughs> care about the real estate. They care about the money. So you yeah, want to get was, paid in full. <laughs> it, it was interesting. Uh, the commissioner was there. Yep. Shout out always to all the uh, tax Jackson, commissioner. yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, uh, uh, what else interesting was there? Of course, yeah, there was Chatham, a construction going on. So right. it was on the other uh, corner of the courthouse. So right. And know. Chatham County did hire a company now to do this auction. I mean, they finally maybe realized that, man, this is getting too big for us to handle ourselves and and they were quite well organized they had paddles with numbers yeah and it's uh i still like that macon one a little bit better was that basketball setup yeah that was inside that was a little bit better but it was kind of pretty good idea yeah yeah but uh yeah it was still well organized it was just a lot of i don't even know because we left earlier because we had things to do right but um it was a long list. Most of the properties, however, were uh, oh, wow, subpar. You know, I b- wasn't interested in most of them. Most of them were lots, by the way, empty mm-hmm. lots. Um, some of the lots are not even buildable, but I'm pretty sure that most everything was sold. I don't think there was any no bids, and the prices that are being demanded have changed, you know, from back then when I was going to these auctions and there was 20 people there on 15 and they actually did announce that some person named Lewis was the first one that has ever attended this sale since the inception of these sales and I've never seen this dude and I've been coming to the sale for five years like it's the first time I saw this guy I don't know who he was I have no idea so uh shout out to you whoever you are I don't know who you are I'm sorry so <laughs> yeah but it was uh, it was interesting then we had another uh auction was going on right next to it Yes, we have, of course, the bank foreclosures that mm-hmm. are being hosted by auction.com. So we kind of figured out how that process went as well. You went online and registered real quick. I don't know if I have an account with auction.com. Yeah, it's like a, it's an app. It looks pretty uh, pretty easy, yeah, but because we were doing it kind of on the hurry. So we still didn't figure out because you you can phone in it pretty much you can you can bid online. Yes, you can bid online and uh, but you do if you do online you have to actually pre-deposit your funds which of course we couldn't do. And they want the money. They want the cashier's check actually in hand. They will not give you any time to go to the bank and try to get them and anything like that. Like the tax commissioner will li- let you have time till five. Yeah. But uh, these this guys were straightforward. Yeah, they're like you bring it and you show it, and the prices, of course, demanded were still less than what the properties were worth, but they're uh, up in the hundred thousands. Yeah, in the cl- in two hundred thousands, and then we had one guy who worked for the bank. He was sitting; it was like a pile of checks. He had no approach to write yeah. any of and that. that's and that's what I've learned too from my investor friends out in California. The day before they make the trip to the bank, you know, they withdraw all the money from all their um, people that want to buy for that they buy for they have clients basically and then you know there's uh there's a lot of security with the car because you don't want to leave certified checks laying around yeah. you kind of um you you bring your gun and you bring your, your <laughs> equipment well, don't, don't 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 go don't bring it to the courthouse yeah. and don't bring it inside obviously but you know if you have your if checks you bring your overnight, cash and stuff you yeah. gotta you gotta have some sort of security and so, then uh, there was a couple other uh, and that was interesting i never knew that was you told me about it because I had to scout around, right? And uh, it was some lawyers already 
having their own auctions within the auctions. Yeah, it was pretty a, cool. It's, it's kind of lively. It's actually, if you've never been to real estate auctions like this, it's kind of interesting to see. You're like, what's going on? And I'm like, well, look around, walk through the crowd, and see if you see anybody else reading and a bunch of people standing around. And I'm like, what's, and you were like, what's that? I'm like, well, this is not the only auction that's going on. That the actual legal hours of sale are the first Tuesday of the month, 10 to 4, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. here in the state of Georgia. But it's not just auction.com that hosts the bank foreclosures. It's individual lawyers as well. So whoever the mortgage bank has hired to do the foreclosure, it could be any foreclosure lawyer, any real estate mm-hmm. foreclosure lawyer, they're the ones that go out there and they stand. And they can stand wherever they want to. I mean, they don't have to announce anything. They don't have a hat. They don't wear anything Yeah, they're like in, in shorts. You don't, you don't even know what's going you on. You don't even know what's going on. You think somebody's reading something to somebody else. There was two, maybe three people standing there. And then it was just reading the legal description of the foreclosure. And, um, you and know, basically the having the won the bid. Right like they had the paperwork right there with them to right. sign, sign off. I know. And you asked me, where do I get the list? I'm like, well, the list is actually published in in the legal organ for that county. And this is the same for all over the United States. Every county has a legal organ. So this is the one newspaper. They may have more than one newspaper, but there's one that's designated as the legal organ for that county. And that's where the legals are published once a week, usually. And ours is Savannah, right? Like, what uh, is Savannah it? Savannah Morning News, yes. So, so many, uh-huh. And so when you like Publix or right. Kroger, we all, you always pick one up. Which kind of brings me to another thing. When you had mentioned to me that, like, we used to, actually, I used to do these auctions in Macon, Georgia, and the legal organ for Bibb County, which is where that is, was the Macon Telegraph. And you said, that doesn't exist anymore. So uh, there's got to be some other uh, newspaper that picked up at least that part, because that part is not just necessary for for real estate and foreclosures. It's also for publication of divorces, marriages, you know, um, obituary sold its uh, adoptions, stuff. all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. So w- there has to be a legal paper. And I don't know if it's allowed to even be online. I'm mm-hmm. not an expert on that. So. But it was I, I I was just amazed because every time I come to those auctions, they like multiple like just getting bigger and, and bigger. bigger yeah. and Chatham bigger. County is not a place to go anymore, folks. If you want something for like two thousand yeah. dollars, you're not getting. You're it. You're not gonna get anything for that. You might yeah. not even get a lot, an empty lot with nothing on it. You know, I mean, that's not gonna happen. And there was beats on every single piece of property, and there wasn't. It wasn't even the property. I don't know what it was. Yeah. Some of those things. I mean, eight nine years ago when I started here in this county, that was a spe- sweet spot. We had like five, five six ten people, people <laughs> maybe. Yeah. And if it rained, then nobody would show up. It was even better. <laughs> that was so bad. I just bring the umbrella. I, I'm it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm buying stuff. And the only bidder. And I remember the house on 37th Street that I have. I, I was the only bidder. Nobody bid against me. Even Nobody even like. And now everybody loves this house. They, they're yeah, offering. The house is awesome. They're yeah. offering me a lot of money for it right now. Well, we put some money into it, but it's yeah. not. Even in its old condition, it would have demanded a lot yeah because the neighborhood changed too now it's uh, 37th street it's nice now i mean if you don't go too all the way far but we're kind of in the midst right right so the old saying goes true is with real estate you you buy and wait you don't wait to buy that's what they always say in real estate investing buy something you know not anything but buy something you know and just figure it out from that point onward you know stop doing this analysis paralysis i think we have a friend up in atlanta who's sitting on a lot of his money i think maybe it's his daddy's mon- monies yeah and he is like well i need to have information and i was like you know if you start doing the research you might as well go to a realtor and buy a full price yeah, and he was just like, I want to get something like for five grand on right. Tybee Island. Oh, that's <laughs> just great. Like, yeah. just like, Me too. <laughs> okay, yeah, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I want that too, you know. But actually, we did find, there was, we did a little bit of research this time. We drove around a little mm-hmm. bit. And, um, there were a couple, couple. Very nice houses. Sex, sexy ones, I would yeah. say. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know if they ever came to those because we didn't stay that long. And there was way too many people there that... Uh, the competition was just yeah, too much. Yeah, and it's, uh, some people was just betting on anything. They didn't care. They were just throwing in. Yeah. Which brings us to a good idea about our lot. Yeah, the yeah, empty of one. course. Yeah. yeah, we have still one empty lot that I've been trying to sell for a while. 
I bought it at a tax sale, I think maybe for $900, but it's been years. It's been a lot of years. It's a, a wooded lot. It's next to, it's at the end of the street, like basically a cul-de-sac, but it's not a cul-de-sac. It's just the end of the street. It's just kind of the street stops. Yeah, just, <laughs> there was like a dead end. That's it's it. It's just dead end. That's it. There's houses to each side, but, you know, we're just beyond one lot beyond those houses, basically. And, um, I mean, if you can't get rid of your real estate, there's, of course, many ways to do that and still get some sort of benefit. And obviously, real estate just sitting there not performing, not getting any rent or anything is not going to help you any. So uh, what we actually decided to do or what I decided to do, because it's uh, still on my books, is to just let it go and have the auctioneers at Chatham County call it out next time. Um, they issue basically a 5A against it, and then they try to sell it to new investors. And the prices that are being demanded right now is a double lot, by the way. And it's appraised at, I believe, 11000 11, or 11, something. 11100 Yeah. So, I mean, that the price of that will be surpassed, and I could then claim basically the overage, whatever's yeah. owed, um, whatever they paid minus whatever was owed, which would be an easier way for me to sell it, basically. Yeah, because those investors, they were like, I mean, some stuff started at 2000, these guys going, and there is like no building, and they go up to like 30. Like, what yeah. do you want to do with it? And in some cases, the lot is worth that much, but in most cases, it's not. And if, if you don't know how to build and you don't know what to do with it or resell it. At this point, know. yeah, and that'll bring us to our next topic after the break here. Let's talk about trying to find somebody to do anything anymore these days. I mean, that's been our, our racket for the last couple of shows that we've just had a really, really hard time. But let's get to that after the well, break. Yeah. Um, the, the sale overall was, was interesting. If this is the first sale you go to, you're going to get discouraged and you're never going to go back. So please don't get discouraged going to these big sales. Try to find the smaller ones. I would recommend to look at smaller counties that may not have sales maybe as often, that have less residents and ha- less um, less tax sharks. Default, <laughs> less sharks. You know, people might not be as interested to go to, you know, Liberty County or Bryan County or maybe Effingham County. I don't know. I've never been to that sale. I'd mm-hmm. li- actually like to go. But we were in uh, we were in Buford to blow. That was a South Carolina sale. Yes, yeah. that was Buford County. We I've and been to that one. No, that people. was Jasper County. That was actually. Jasper. It was a lot too. It, but it, the competition, the the bids were not that. Not as high as here in Chatham County. Uh, the investors have woken up to, and um, maybe it's partially because. <laughs> my YouTube channel, because I've yeah. been talking about it for years. So I built my own competition, which is okay. I I like to share the. We'll, we'll, we'll find a new one. We'll be. We'll, <laughs> we'll there'll find be, some there'll be other places, yes. Yeah. And of course, you know, I still have stuff to sell. So I'm, um, yeah. it's not like we're not staying. And then busy. City, City does. It's We were at County. Right. This was a county sale, the biggest one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the city does it too, but this time, and it always happens on Tuesday, first Tuesday of the month, Mm -hmm. but because of still that pandemic thing, I don't even know if it exists anymore, but uh, phone in, (laughs) check check out. Yeah. That's what we did. So what Daniil here is saying is that here in, in the city of Savannah, we have kind of like a unique situation where... There's two taxing authorities, and they kind of run in parallel. And people always ask me, so if you get a, a tax lien from the county commissioner and then somebody sells the actual you know, city yeah. lien, how are they comparing to each other? Which one has the um, priority over the other one? Like, do if I buy one and somebody has the other one, do I have to pay them off? Do they have to pay me off? You know, does mine go away? Does his go away, his or hers? And the answer is they're actually on the same level. So city and county are all considered government taxes, um, and they're on the same level. Now, um, usually the city taxes are not as much as the county taxes, and usually the cities have to um, follow some sort of threshold before they put something out on the auction. So, for example, in this case, uh, this is, and don't quote me on this because it's a couple years ago that when I asked about this, is that uh, it has to be a default of at least $500. And if you don't have that, then they just skip you that year and then they figure out next year if you're going to pay or not. 
so it's it's not it's not really um kind of on the same level as in the sales don't happen as often and um they're they although they're on the same level it's not very likely that you have two tax liens belonging to two different people um and they also kind of watch what is the county doing what's the city doing and they kind of watch each other at least they should you know don't quote me on that again my information a couple years ago but and there is a show about it so you have but right you can, you can follow oh, there's up. lots of videos yeah, yeah you can search that on youtube obviously on my channel but also other places but um, the one thing I wanted to just add to that as well, we did actually supposedly we, sh we should have had a city tax foreclosure sale as well for real estate. And there was a very long list. It got shorter throughout the month. And towards the end, what we were left with was a couple of really nice properties and the mall, the Savannah Mall, actually. They didn't pay their city taxes. I think something was owed like $400,000. And that's the one where Bass Pro Shops is in. Actually, Bass Pro Shops itself was, I guess, a separate tax entity. So that, that was also in default. And I believe there still are. I don't know. I didn't check. And, uh, yeah, they, um, they were going to auction off that because that was on the list. As well as a retirement home. Yeah, we well, drove by and it was very nice. Very huh? nice. It was right next to the hospital, the Candler Hospital, actually behind it. So we were... Um, Looking at those things, of course, you know, their tax default was about 40000 or something. It wasn't that much. I mean, it was something that I could have afforded. Yeah, but the property itself was But the was property itself like was five, massive. Five, five, five million, probably. Five, six million dollars yeah. worth. So, I mean, I don't know. It's kind Anyways, of sad that it was like still people live with it. <laughs> yeah, it was very well. I mean, it was in operation. This was not a like a defunct retirement home but in any case uh and then we saw of course uh, we need to talk about that after the break let's yeah, talk about yeah. the castle so we're at the bottom of the hour let's play some announcements and some music and we'll be right back after this so please stay on and don't go anywhere what does it mean when we say that wruu is a community radio station it doesn't just mean that we invite the community to create programming and it doesn't just mean that we are a voice for the community. It also means that we are counting on the community to keep us going. And you are the community. Almost all of our modest budget comes from small annual or monthly donations from listeners like you. You get to enjoy our community-focused programming because many others have stepped forward to do their part. Now do your part by joining our community of listener donors. Go to wruu.org right now and make a one-time or monthly donation. And thank you for supporting Savannah's community radio station, 107.5 FM. 107.5 WRUU in touch with Call to Care. Are you feeling isolated? Call to Care is a telephone reassurance program for seniors. Area seniors and college students are paired to have weekly phone conversations and build a meaningful friendship in these troubled times. Contact Call to Care at 912-478-0712 or email call the number 2 care at georgiasouthern.edu. Share your value perspective with the younger generation. Call to Care. This reminder of the public spirit from Georgia Southern University and 107.5 WRUU. Savannah Soundings Community Radio with Global Soul by Frank Black of the Pixies, one of my favorite songs from the 90s. Actually, brings me back to college times. Thanks for tuning in to Real Estate Real Talk with Julia and Spencer. We have, uh, of course, a full program again today, and we interlace our talking segments with some music. So um, let's tell you, I wanted to tell you a little bit about this one property that's been pretty amazing of find that we did find at the tax sale and there goes Daniil he's coming back kind of stepped out and we are on the air <laughs> come back my bad, my bad. <laughs> I'm here I'm here sorry <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the uh the castle we found a castle it was so cool actually you never know what you might find at tax sales when you do these drive up drive-bys that's one of my last steps of the due diligence researching properties in um, the city the city of Savannah actually has um, one that was for sale. <laughs> Kept problems with that microphone. <laughs> oh, it was! I know it was. It was so cool. It, it was, was so cool. cool yeah. yeah. So it's it's located. I think it was like Millsby Lane or something over there, west part of Savannah. Mm -hmm. And uh, as nice neighborhood. Yeah, it was, it was decent. Yeah, 
And but as we're driving up, it's basically a castle. It's a house that's four and a half, five thousand square feet. It has its own house in the back. It has like a connecting walkway between the two houses. It's a huge lot. It had a beautiful fountain that at one point it was beautiful in front of it, but it was boarded obviously, and I could tell it was boarded by the city or by the county because it's that plexiglass that I'm very familiar with, and I made (laughs) videos about this before. But uh, basically, you know, if a house is vacant and people start living in there, and you can see somebody did try living, yeah, the the city comes in or the county and they just kind of plexiglass it up, so you can still look inside, but it's not accessible anymore. And this it has like very cool this stairs. I like those round stairs. Yeah, it had round stairs in the walkway. So if you ever seen that, what is it, the money, the money pit movie with uh, Tom Hanks, where they trying to remodel this really really old house and it's just one problem after the other. That's the kind of house it was. I mean, yeah. it was massive, and I can I can imagine it's been in its day. It was beautiful. I mean, yeah. it was just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Of course, we made it jokes because we thought it was in a in a it feel a little ghost presence it, it in there. It felt haunted. Yes, yeah, it, it did. did. And it's like what I, what I said. It was just like it seems like the family got murdered by a hatchet by a father and then he committed the suicide. I or don't something. know. I don't know the story about it, but I went back into the records and apparently somebody sold it to somebody for five thousand dollars a while back, a couple of years ago. Nobody but, wants to do um, anything. It's been vacant for many, many, many years. In fact, the notice on the front door said that it's uh, that notice was put there in 2019. So that's three years ago. And uh, it's but still it's vacant. Not, so. I mean, it's I definitely know. if somebody has money can go and make it beautiful again. Oh, yeah. It could be it could But be it's gorgeous. not overgrown. Somebody's... And it, I'm not city and county it, probably cutting the grass because, you know, they have, somebody has to. They put that, the lean that, on that it. Was, that was beautiful. And probably back, that, that plastic glass, what you were saying, like probably 15000 You got to pay the city well, for that just at least. I can tell you that one of the houses I purchased one time had that plexiglass, and I didn't know anything about it. This is how I learned about this, is if the city or the... Actually, I think it's the county department of... Um, building maintenance or something like that they come in and they send the contractor and the contractor is like all right <laughs> like <the> government's <laughs> paying <Cha-ching. laughs> i'm going to use the most expensive material that exists so you could do it with basic you know board like yeah. a ple- like ply board or something but no they use plexiglass and they use the really thick like nails i mean this expensive so the house i bought uh, was actually the one right next to 48th Street. One of them I kept, the other one I sold. But the one that I sold actually had that lien on it. And what happened is that I believe I paid $2,000 for the house and the lien for the plexiglass was 30 <laughs> So <laughs> something like that. I can't remember exactly the numbers and I didn't know and anything about 40, it. Was that on 48, right? Is the it one still, right, is it still, still it's standing still up there? there and nobody still touched it. I mean, nobody can go inside, which is good, but... But we can see there is already a tree growing, fully growing in the back room. Yeah, yeah, there's a hole and there's a tree. So, (laughs) but uh, I mean, that's kind of what you have to anticipate when you buy these really, really defunct houses that have been vacant for many years. That there's lots of liens, that there's issues. Um, I mean, there's still properties to be had in savannah if you have the money to fix them up but then it becomes a problem of not buying them or finding them it becomes more of a problem with fixing F- them fixing them material is expensive materials right now. and labor, labor is it, impossible it, to find even if you have money yeah and unless you know how to do stuff uh, yeah which we discussed too it might as well start learning go to technical school right and learn electrical learn that's plumbing. that's what i'm thinking i'm thinking you know what let me lo- look into becoming an electrician you know i don't know any electricians that are female quite honestly i've never met one but <laughs> I, I, I can <laughs> maybe there one. is some i just don't know where they are i don't know and uh, so plumbing, truck drivers <laughs> truck <laughs> drivers yeah yeah we gotta find out i mean it's just been quite a roller coaster with this house we're trying to remodel it's been a solid one year now yeah uh, we're still not finished we may have somebody that is going to finish now i'm crossing my fingers because it's old been f- old friend an old friend that actually you know 
cares about this business relationship more than just the money. And he even says that. And I believe him because that's how he works. He doesn't jump from project to project. He doesn't use your money on some other project where he's behind, which is what our previous guy, I think, did. Yeah. And he he, and he doesn't have another job where, I mean, he, he used to have another job, but it's right. like the last electrician we hired, he only worked on the weekend. And we're like, why? And not every weekend. Some weekends yeah. he was out on the boat. <laughs> yeah. And we was like, well, didn't you supposed to work on our projects? He's yeah. like, I never said so. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> so you took a money? And he took the money and, and gone. I tried to call him. You tried to call him. No answer. No response. Nothing. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, they, they gladly take your money, but they'll never show up, which, you know, you're... Which makes makes us, think, makes us think now, I'm not giving anybody a penny until they show up yeah. and do something. Yeah, doing I'm not something. doing any prepayments on anything anymore. Yeah, it's... That's, uh, that's a good lesson to be learned. But, I mean, of course, that's kind of, like, straightforward, but... But when you go with like, and, and again, you get what you paid for, and we be, we keep saying it in 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 and on the show. But when you go through like, like Home Depot, we've been we've been doing pretty good with Home Depot. But some other people, Home Depot, send us the on no. Yeah, it's kind of but we'll majority. Get, we'll get two, three people show up. Remember those guys that showed up? And we told them everything, carpentry oh. and everything. And then the next day, the guy's like, it's going to be about $30,000. Yeah, about. Like, and I'm like, okay, can you write Break me down, yeah. a paper that has the labor costs, the material costs approximate? You know, of course, I know this can't give me an exact yeah, number. Yeah, you got to have but, a cushion. You know, mm. give me, like, how did you get to this number? And, okay, I'll get it to you tomorrow. Never and heard from him never again. Never heard from him again. <laughs> yeah, my last guy actually drove by a couple of days ago. Yeah. I met with him like a week ago. He just like, I got everything under control. I'll send you a quote. And a week passed. I called him. He's not responding. And I'm talking to another guy staying on the on the porch of this house. And I, I know his truck. He's passing by like, Hong Kong. And I was like, Hong Kong what? Where's my quote? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, appreciate you. Recognize it's me. unbelievable what's going on. Like if you're a contractor and you know how to lift a finger... I mean, I don't want to bad mouth most of the contractors because because there's some good ones out there that are really trying, that know their trade and know what they're doing. So let's not. But you can make some money if you just show up and do work. <laughs> yeah. I, guess, I mean, if you have any kind of skills, you know, you, you're golden. Yeah. I mean, look at my son. Look at my son. So he was called by the neighbors because they had a computer issue. Actually, they called me. Yeah. Because they know I went to IT school. And then I'm like, well, I'm, I'm not a hardware person. I don't know anything about that. But let me send you my son. So my son went over there, and uh, within like a minute, he had a fix. Two, two clicks because the, 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 something happened to the mouse. Either the mouse got stuck mm -hmm. or, or they shut off the – I think they shut off, they shut off the, uh, the outside mouse, not the mouse actually on the – yeah, they had a touch screen, but they were trying to do use the touch screen. It wasn't working, and they should have used the outside mouse, something like that. Yeah, something it's simple. It's like two clicks. He said it was two clicks fixed. Right. But, I mean, they couldn't take it to a shop because the shop closed down that they used to go to. They yeah. don't know anybody that knows yeah, anything. Yeah, the shop is, what, like $75 just to diagnose? And my son just graduated from high school. He's like, Mom, I just look at a YouTube video and I just do what they say. And if that doesn't work, I'll try something else well, we until it works. And he fixed everything. He fixed our printer. He fixed yeah. uh, his own computer. He's building from scratch. His yeah, he took brother's, his brother's old computer, yeah. His brother's computer is being disassembled and reassembled. I mean, he's... Well, we just had that uh, with me, the plumbing issue at MapMaker. Mm -hmm. You remember, like, we got, it was Saturday, and we had people coming in right. for, for a week or something, and... Uh, it was couldn't find a plumber. Couldn't find a plumber, e even to pay, so uh, nobody wanted to take it even Saturday money. Right. Like a, so Extra I ended up money, going, yeah. yeah. I ended up going to Home Depot, learned myself, getting that snake, the electric snake. Mm -hmm. Just rented the tool. Brought it, fixed it, and it was with the rent was forty five dollars, I think. And of course, it took me like four hours because I don't know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. But if you want to make money and sort of like in the yeah, that's all you would have to do is get one of those snakes and 
You don't sure. even need to buy one. Just go rent one at Home Depot, charge people $300. We probably will end up paying 300 at easily. Least. To, yeah, at least. At to, least, yeah. And we will do it because we had guests coming. Yeah, exactly. So, so right now, I mean, we're, I don't know what's happening. I, I'm not, a, like I say, I always say I'm not a politician. I'm a business person. So whatever they're doing there at the top, if it hurts my business, then I kind of want to change, you know. But if they're doing, which are, you know, they're doing something good and my business was good, I don't really care. So yeah. I'm not, I'm kind of n- not political. I'm like Elvis, you know. I'm a musician. I'm not a politician. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> my music is my business. But what I'm trying to say is, it is really hard to run one these days because n- there's nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to work. Yeah, it doesn't happen. And then the city, the city is uh, that was brings me to. Uh, because now we gotta talk to the code compliance guys. Because yeah, they, code they compliance guys on our butt because your house isn't painted. I'm trying to get it painted. Trust me. <laughs> just, I got I'm money. I to get an electrician to first. I got the paint. <laughs> I got the money. I got the brushes. I don't have the person. The person does not exist. It doesn't yeah, show up. And they come and it's like, you got 20 days. I was like, oh great. Can you find like I'll pay you. Can you find me somebody in 20 days? <laughs> And and we're you? laughing, but it's not really even funny. And then we're trying to call the code compliance guys. I mean, I guess they're short staff too. Well, their he was in court today. Full. He was in court, but his his voicemail is always full. I get to leave the message. Full. Or or he's like, "I'll meet you tomorrow. I'll meet you tomorrow at your house. We can go over what you need to fix." I'm like, "Cool." The next day, I'm sitting there waiting. For and like then thirty minutes. Of thirty the minutes. I call him. I'm like, "Hey, uh, were you supposed to be here?" Oh, I, I forgot. Oh, I'm he's at like, lunch. I'm at lunch. <laughs> yeah, I'm at lunch. I'm at lunch. <laughs> Let me just come to you after lunch. And I'm like, did we just talk about this yesterday? <laughs> like, this not less than 24 hours ago, we talked. You and I had a conversation on the phone. How can you forget that? I mean, I see people, some people do, but how can you forget that? I, I have, oh, no, this is not even what he said. He was at lunch, but he had a class. I'm like, you know you have a class. Weeks ahead of time, sometimes no, your employer doesn't come to you and say, "Sorry, code like, compliance pack it, people, pack it, pack it up, <laughs> let's go." Thanks for coming <laughs> to work today. All day today, you're in class. It's like, oh wait, hold a moment, I have appointments. No, yeah. so he, you know, we're we're kind of being screwed. I know it's just left I and just right. Like, cannot, yeah, I can't find anybody. Even well, I know it's not real estate, but even with our truck, we're trying to fix. Oh my goodness, it's, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there's it's 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 rough right now. If you're a small business owner, um, I don't know if it makes any difference if you have a lot of money because I mean right now I can pay for stuff, but it's not it's not happening. So maybe it's a relationship thing. You need to have all these connections already made. But we've been working on relationships forever. Some things work good, some things don't. So yeah, I just uh, but just it looks I, I don't know finding. We we had that radio show too on uh, on the thirty seventh street. You remember there is a patch of grass like which I cut. It takes me what fifteen minutes to do the bushes and the grass. Uh, yeah, it's a small patch of grass we have because it's in the city. It's midtown. Yeah. But I can't find anybody, and whoever I found, they're like hundred twenty bucks. I was like hundred twenty <laughs> bucks for what? <laughs> it's like it takes me fifteen minutes. You could literally cut it with some shears, like with some scissors. I mean, it's really small. It's not yeah. very big. You can you you can do it in a couple you know half so an was hour. It was a roof. We have that that show too. When uh, we tried to just to blow off the roof, some guy wanted eight hundred bucks. <laughs> we were just like for what? <laughs> and and you know, quite letter? honestly, yeah. I I can't even blame them because there's people out there that will pay it, and that sets the price basically. Yeah. So it's just like real estate. If you sell it. And somebody comes around and is like, oh, I'll give you half a million dollars for this $100,000 house. All of a sudden, that's the price. <laughs> it's just like, all the right. price is whatever somebody is willing to pay and actually pays it. So here we go. Here we go. But we're on the end stretch. I'm kind of confident. I still feel like we should go to Mexico very soon and just yeah. keep, you know, we'll real estate here Mexico. for, <laughs> yeah, keep real estate here for making money because you can make money if you have something to offer for sure. Yeah. But you shouldn't be spending it here. You should be spending it somewhere else. That's kind of my recommendation. I did read my disclaimer. I know there's going to be a lot of people out there listening that say, <laughs> oh, you should support the American economy. I would love to support the American economy. The American economy doesn't take my money. 
But when is the price? When the price is right, <laughs> when but when you pay for right, gas like right. four fifty, and I'm here's sorry. another, <laughs> and here, and I know I'm getting off my bed bag, and I need to get off. But <laughs> this is something else I said. We have more people in this earth than we've ever had. We have so many people, like eight billion now, or something like that. I don't even. We know have a lot of people I, I, in I this even, earth. I, I know more it, than yeah. ever, and we have less labor than we've ever did. How is that? How does that compute? Where does where is everybody? What are they doing? You know, what's happening? Yeah, I guess everybody's sitting under the palm tree, dr drinking I, cocktails I don't from know. the straw of the coconut. You know, I don't know what's happening, but I'm curious to see how life turns out for my kids and your son too. Yeah, I'm just kind of worried about it. You know, I, all I'm saying is, I'm I'm growing my own food right now. I'm trying to. Yeah, <laughs> I got a lot of land. I can put cows and goats and, and rabbits and they can be eaten too. We were talking too. about RVs too. <laughs> yeah. And RVs, yeah, I live in an RV, hell. I'll yeah. be good in an RV. I'm, 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 I'm perfectly game. fine. No, I'm game. <laughs> it's kind of even like like camping back in the yeah. day. It's rent, cool. Rent the house, live in an RV. I'm game. That's your, me. your friend did tell us the story. That's she, exactly what my friend did. Yeah, yeah, she was she was separated. She is separated from her husband. Uh, their uh, daughter lives with him, the husband, in the home. Yeah. And she goes and travels and works in different places. And they're giving her money to stay in hotels. And she's like, screw this. I'm buying a camper and I'm mm. living in the camper. And just collecting that. <laughs> and I'm cl collecting the money and I'm going home on the weekends to be with my daughter. And my husband or my separated husband spends the weekend somewhere else. You know, we're sharing the house. We still own it together. I can't be there during the week. What's the point of me so buying, um, paying for hotels? And I, I kind of agree. I want to get the camper now. Yeah. I'm very, very interested in buying a camper once this truck's fixed. <laughs> Which is called Fully Tuesday. Cross the fingers. Yeah, <laughs> cross the fingers. Anyway, I think we're done. We're done. We talked enough about this. Yeah, yes, absolutely. But it is, you know, I actually close to the top of the hour now. And this is our show Real estate, real talk. I don't know how much you've learned about this, about what we're doing these days uh, on this show, anyways, because we're kind of just blabbering on. Wanted to give you some information about other shows that you can listen to. Um, they're on my YouTube channel. Just check out Julia M. Spencer. You can listen to old shows. There's a lot of old videos. I'm super behind putting anything new up because guess what? I'm going back to Germany again next week because I got to fix some stuff, hold another issue. And uh, so, but w I will not be here live next week. So it'll be a recorded show again. But uh, we are broadcasting this show when we are in town live on Wednesdays at noon. So you can check it out. And if you have questions, like I said in the beginning of, of the show, real estate at juliamspencer.com can also leave comments on my YouTube videos. And that brings me to the end. I think after this show, you can listen to Jazz Brunch. We're really glad that you joined us. We are a local radio station, community radio, with volunteers, ran by volunteers completely. We're here on our own, our own time because we love being here. We love being on the radio. We do love to also play music and that is going to be my last song here for today i'm going to play one and hopefully you have an amazing amazing wednesday afternoon yeah and stay real estate stay cool it's <laughs> getting hot we're in june and uh, stay safe absolutely have a great wednesday everybody bye bye for your free guide to real estate investing visit julia m spencer.com